Well, there's two different ways, like I said. One way is they'll just say, you know, a ship or an airplane or an object is heading at a bearing or with a bearing of, let's say, 210 degrees. Now, we're used to measuring angles in such a way that we start off facing the positive x direction and we head counterclockwise if it's a positive angle and then clockwise if it's a negative angle. But when you find bearing, what you do is you orientate yourself in these uh, cardinal directions, the north, east, southwest, you start facing north, and if it says a bearing of 210, you would measure clockwise from the north, 210 degrees, and there you would be right there. So you start facing north, and you go clockwise. Okay, so that's one way. That's when they just say bearing. Now, another way is they'll give you some other uh, coordinates. They'll say north 20 degrees west, or south 30 degrees east. When they give it to you in this form, what, what you want to do is you want to start facing in the direction of that first letter. So you'd say, I'm going to face north, and I'm going to start to turn 20 degrees towards the second letter, towards the west. So I'm facing north, 20 degrees towards the west. That's our angle right there, 20 degrees. Now, if we want to find this angle here, you just do 90 minus 20 because that's the right angle. Let's look at this one, south 30 degrees east. So you start facing south, and then you go 30 degrees towards the east, Okay, like that. So this would be like a 30 degree angle right there. So the two different ways of measuring bearings. Let's go through a couple examples together. So it says, uh, say you're heading at a north 21.8 degrees east. Okay, so this one is just saying, okay, we're going to face north. We're going to head towards the east. Remember, never eat sour watermelon. You go in that direction like that. So start facing north and we're heading 21.8 degrees towards the east. So that's right there. A uh, second example, it says a ship heads south 70 degrees west for 10 miles. Another ship heads south 40 degrees east for 15 miles. How far apart are the ships? Okay, this is a good problem. Let's see if we can draw this. What you want to draw is you want to draw your coordinate axis like this. Label your directions, north, east, south, west. Start at the origin, and one ship is heading south, so we, we face south, 70 degrees towards the west like that. So this is a 70 degree angle, and it's going for 10 miles. So I'm just gonna write 10 miles. The other one is south 40 degrees east. So we start facing south, and we head 40 degrees towards the east, approximately right there, and that's for 15 miles, it's a little bit longer. So that's uh, south 40 degrees towards the east. Now we're trying to find the distance between these two ships, and that's right there. And what you notice is we have this side angle side situation. So when you have side angle side like that and you're looking for this length here, uh, you can use the law of cosines. And you can review uh, some of my videos talking about law of cosines if you need to review that. But we'll set it up here. So basically we have a total of 110 degrees for that angle that's in between the two sides, 10 and 15. So what we would do is we'd say x squared equals 10 squared plus 15 squared minus 2 times 10 times 15 times the cosine of the included angle, which is 110 degrees. Then what you would do, since you're just solving for x and not x squared, you would take the square root of this whole thing, and that's going to give you the distance between the two ships. So again, two different ways to measure bearing, either from the north clockwise, or the second way, start facing the first letter, either north or south, and then you're going to head towards that second letter, east or west, that many degrees. So I hope this helped you understand uh, bearing a little bit better. Subscribe to the channel. Check out more math tutoring videos on my YouTube channel, Mario's Math Tutoring. And I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.